Oh, I'm organizing the art room. Let me show you where the crayons are. This is a box of 10 crayons. And this shelf has 10 boxes on it. Remember, friends, each box has 10 crayons inside. So there are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 crayons here. 10 boxes of 10 crayons each equals 100 crayons total. That's so many colors. This is the art room. Want to see where I put all the crayons? Check this out. Here is one shelf with 100 crayons. There are 10 boxes of 10 crayons each. Oh, here's another shelf. Now there are 200 crayons total. And another shelf. Woohoo! Now there are 300 crayons total. Wow! I love looking for numbers in the clouds. Ooh, look at that one. Let's figure out how many hundreds, tens, and ones it has. This number is in the hundreds place. It tells us that there are two groups of a hundred. This number is in the tens place. It tells us that there is one group of ten. And this number is in the ones place. It tells us that there are four ones. Wowee! <sighs> They're beautiful. I'm wishing to do some addition. What is 26 plus 31? Here is one way to solve it. We can expand the numbers into tens and ones. There are two tens and six ones in the number 26. Two tens and six ones. There are three tens and one one in the number 31. Three tens and one one. Super! Now that the numbers have been expanded, let's add them together. First, let's add the ones. Six plus one is seven. There are seven ones. Next, let's add the tens. Two tens is 20, and three tens is 30. 20 plus 30 equals 50. The final sum is 50 plus seven, which is 57. 26 plus 31 is 57. I'm Super Pack. Ta-da! And ready to add using big numbers. What is 240 plus 130? We have 240, which is the same as two hundreds and four tens. Now we want to add 130. There are zero ones in both of these numbers, so let's focus on the tens and hundreds. First, let's add the tens. There are three tens in 130. Now let's add the hundreds. There is one hundred in 130. Now let's see how many blocks we have total. We have one, two, three hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tens. And zero ones. That means we have 370 total. 240 plus 130 equals 370. Phew! Impressive job. I'm on a mission. Let's subtract some big numbers. What is 430 minus 290? We have 430, which is the same as four hundreds and three tens. Now we want to take away 290. First, let's take away the tens. There 
are nine tens in 290. Whoops, we don't have enough rods to take away nine. Let's change a flat into 10 rods because 100 equals 10 sets of 10. Now we can take away nine rods. Next, let's take away the hundreds. There are two hundreds in 290. How many blocks are left? We have 100 and one, two, three, four tens. That means that 430 minus 290 equals 140. Ta-da! Alo has 158 marbles. Sandy has 126 marbles. How many marbles do they have all together? Let's solve for the question mark. Alo has 158 marbles. Sandy has 126 marbles. How many marbles do they have all together? We're looking for the sum of the two numbers. Here's one way to do it. Let's expand the numbers into hundreds, tens, and ones to solve the equation. First, let's add the ones. Eight plus six equals 14. That is one ten and four ones. Now let's add the tens. 50 plus 20 is 70. Then let's add the hundreds. 100 plus 100 equals 200. Almost there. Let's look at our final number. I see two sets of tens that can be added together. 70 plus 10 equals 80. The sum is 200 plus 80 plus 4, which is 284. Alo and Sandy have 284 marbles all together.